Assalamualaikum and hello everyone and welcome to the video where we discuss passive question for the year of 2018-2019. In this video, we will discuss question number 4 involving chapter 5, States of Matter. Question A, a 10 liter cylinder contains 4 gram of hydrogen gas and 28 gram of nitrogen gas. If the temperature is 31 degrees Celsius, Question 1 Roman determine the total pressure of the gases mixture. So first thing first, what I need to do is actually I'm gonna uh, extract the information. I have my volume, I have my mass, and I have my temperature. Okay, so uh, based on the information given, so you know that in a cylinder we have hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas. So now they ask you to determine the total pressure. Um, in the cylinder itself lah, of the gases mixture. Okay, so for 5.1, there are formula that you have to memorize. Okay, so the first formula that you have to memorize is PV is equal to NRT, P pressure, V volume, and number of mole. R is your gas constant. Okay, if you refer to your list of constant, for R, there's two value. One is 0 0.0826, one is 8.314 Joule per Kelvin per mole. But for our syllabus for chapter 5 here, uh, we're going to use it, um, this one. Because when we're talking L80 per mole per Kelvin, because we have it, this one, T, R, N, P, and V. <laughs> okay, so for this one, uh, you have to use this lah. Okay, uh, besides that, you have to know that uh, the formula is pressure total equal to gas plus H2O. Okay, this formula uh, is speci specifically for water displacement method. Uh, in this question, in the question, you will mention this is a water displacement method. Uh, then you have to use this one. Lah. Okay, where our uh, pressure total is equal to gas plus H2O. Gas ni depends on the question. Sometimes the bagi hydrogen, sometimes NH3, sometimes chlorine. It could be any of the gas, maybe oxygen. But the water must be there lah. Uh, water is the constant pressure that is there. Because when we collect over water, that's the vapor pressure of water. But then for the vapor pressure of water, if the question does not give you, so you can refer back to the list of constant when Temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The vapor pressure is 23.8 tall. Okay. So this formula is actually an application of our Dalton's law. Lah. Maksudnya, we have two different gases. Then we can find the pressure total. Uh, the, same guess, the same case here. We can find the pressure total, which is pressure of HE and pressure of H2. Okay. So how to find the pressure of he and h2 so uh this one is the uh the, uh, the, the formula that you have to know partial pressure is the um mole fraction multiplied by pressure total in this case pressure total tak tahu kan uh, but then uh this one number of mole yang ini any means specific gas dalam case ni maybe pressure h2 so number of mole of h2 over nt lah times pressure total Okay, T ni total. Total tengok lah. What is the gas uh, present in your molecule? If you have two, then you have to add up two gas lah. If you have three, then you have to add up all. Okay, so this case, determine the total pressure. This one, PT. So, we have to find PV is equal to NRT. Where this case, uh, P ni must be pressure total. So, if the pressure is total, the number of mole pool must be total lah. So, we have to find the no total number of mole. So, how do we find out total number of mole? We have our mass. So, we can find number of mole mass divided by molar mass. So, we have to find mass of uh, number of mole for um, hydrogen and for uh, this one, nitrogen gas. Once you have found the number of mole for H2 and N2, next you have to find again, based on the formula, we want to find the total mole. So the total mole as we, is when we add up this two value. So we get the value to be 3 mole. Okay, remember, uh, here hydrogen, now uh, the molar mass is 1, but we have 2. Yeah, the number of mole for nitrogen is 14, but we have 2. So that's why lah. So then we can substitute to find the pressure total. Okay, pressure total is our unknown. So volume. Uh, volume again, the unit must be in liter. Okay, so this in liter. Number of mole total. Okay, mole, the unit must be the same one. Okay, R is your gas constant. Okay, temperature. Temperature 31 degrees Celsius. Uh, this one you have to change into Kelvin since the unit for it is per Kelvin. This one you have to change it into Kelvin which is you're going to add 273.15 to change it from degrees Celsius 
to Kelvin. So once you have substituted it, you will get the total pressure to be 7.49 atm. So that's for question 1 Roman. Question 2 Roman, calculate the partial pressure of hydrogen gas. So partial name is the pressure of the gas itself. Lah. Uh, this case, it only wants for the hydrogen. So uh, using this formula, which is this case, Pressure of H2 equivalent number of mol H2 divided by number of total multiplied by pressure total. Okay, so this is the formula, the formula that you have to write down. Make sure you substitute the correct value. So number of mole of H2, this case is 2, total is 3, pressure total is from previous question. Hence, you will get the answer to be 4.99 atm. So since the question only as for hydrogen, then you're going to find only the hydrogen. Lah. If you're going to find the partial pressure of H, no problem. But then, there won't be any marks because the question only asks for hydrogen. Okay. Uh, so, this is one way for you to do it. If you want to do um PV is equal to NRT pun, boleh juga. But for this case, you have to find yang ini pressure specifically. Uh, pressure H2 V must be number of mole of H2 RT. Apun boleh. Side you want to use this one or this one. Kan? Uh, number of mole cannot be total lah. Number of mole of H2. So, if you refer to the calculator on my right hand side, uh, this one again, I use PV equal to NRT. It's just that my N is not equal to 3 anymore lah. Kat sini N equal to 3 kan? Tu N equal to 2. Alamak, tak nampak. <laughs> so, PV equal to NRT. Uh, this one pressure H2. So, this is must be number of mole of H2. 2. Okay, uh, so you can see the answer to be 4.99 as well. So up to you, nak guna ni boleh, nak use the formula for partial pressure pun also can. Okay, so that's for question number 2. Question 3 Roman, what will happen if the gases mixture is heated to 550 degrees Celsius? So right now, our um, gas, the temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. So what happens if it is heated? So this is actually based on the theory lah. Okay, so what you have to write down first, when temperature is added, the kinetic energy increase. So I remember, in a wall of container, for a gas molecule, okay, each of the molecule have its own uh, kinetic energy. Okay, so what happens that when temperature is added, the kinetic energy increase. So it means that when we, it will increase, it will move around lah. What will happen, there's more collision. Uh, since it moves around a lot, so it will collide more. Not only between the molecules, but between the molecules and the wall of the container. So, here mentioned, there's a higher number of collision between the molecules and the wall of container. So, what does it mean when there's more collision? Uh, more collision between the molecule and the wall of the container itself. So, what does it mean is that our pressure will increase. So, that is explanation for question number 3. So, this explanation is actually uh, application ataupun something that you have also learned during your secondary school. Lah. So, again, when temperature is added, kinetic energy increase. So, there's more collision. Okay, that's why pressure increase. Okay. Uh, so, usually chapter 5.1 calculation for this part. Dada juga minta the theory behind it lah. Okay. So, that is all for question a. Question B, under the same condition of temperature and density, determine which gas behave less ideally. Okay, so what does it mean by um, less ideally? So for 5.1, usually we use PV to NRT. So this formula is used actually for ideal gas. Okay, so what is the characteristic of ideal gas? Okay, for ideal gas, there is no attraction between molecules and the volume of gas is negligible. Okay, so what does it mean? So when we're talking about gas, okay. So here gas is moved randomly and rapidly around the container, kan? Okay, so when we're talking about this, um, apa ni? what do you call that collision and all? We, we assume there is no attraction between molecules. Okay, so that's why they are kind uh, collide. Uh, it will not collide with each other. It will collide with each other as well as the wall. Lah. But actually, this one, what we have learned in chapter 4.4, intermolecular force, there is actually attraction between molecule. So when there is actually attraction, sebenarnya dia tak adalah move freely pun. Uh, they akan collide together. Maybe they akan jadi, um, they akan more instead of collision macam ni, uh, maybe they akan dekat-dekat uh, and then it will collide but maybe the probability will be less lah. 
Okay, and then we're talking about the volume of gas is negligible. Okay, volume of gas is negligible means that uh, usually we don't calculate the volume of the gas. We mention about the volume of the container. Ni. Okay, uh, so that is the ideal gas. Back to the question. Okay, determine which gas behave less ideally. CH4, SO2. So we have two points here. Okay, so um, since what we have learned in Chapter 4, we have learned about the attraction IMF. So, I would like to compare in terms of this one. Lah. There's no attraction. So, um, about the attraction here. Okay, what we have learned in 4.4. Okay, but a bit of revision for chapter 4. Specifically for 4.4 intermolecular forces, we have, we have learned there are three intermolecular forces. First is hydrogen bonding between electronegative atom, FON, FON, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen with hydrogen. Ah, kalau contohnya we have HCl. Okay, yang ini this is not hydrogen bonding. Ah, uh, for example, apa lagi kita ada carbon hydrogen. This is not hydrogen bonding. This one because this is not phone. Ah, uh, this one must be ah. Uh, yang ini pun sama juga. Ini pun must be phone lah. Okay, second one is the dipole dipole force. This one specifically for polar molecule. For London force is for all of the molecules lah. All molecule have London force. Okay, so for the case of strength, uh, hydrogen bonding is the strongest one. Okay, the second one is dipole dipole force. The weakest one is the London force. So when we're comparing the molecule, okay, we also uh, we always compare about size, shape, polarity. Size ni dari mana? Size ni when we calculate the molar mass. Okay, um, and then shape ni uh, usually if the question or the molecule have the same molar mass, then we compare with that, about the shape. Polarity, uh, this one we have to draw the shape. So here I have my CH4 and SO2. Okay, yang ni miss keep, miss terus draw uh, the, uh, the molecular geometry for the molecule. Once I have drawn the uh, molecular geometry, okay, so for carbon is but the adalah AB4. When you draw the structure, so for tetrahedral lah. So this will be the shape. For SO2, it is AB2E bonding pair to one lone pair. So um the electron pair geometry, trigonal plana, the molecular geometry in terms of band. Okay. Then to determine the polarity, first we have to mention lah, is it polar bond ke non-polar? Polar bond ni means that it has different atom. So CH polar bond, SO polar bond. For example, uh, oxygen. This is non-polar. Sebab different atom. Uh, nitrogen. Uh, this is non-polar. Lagi, HF. Uh, HF polar. Because it is two different atom. Okay, so that's the first part if the polarity. Second part is actually you have to draw the dipole moment to a small electronegative synoff. Okay, so in this case, hydrogen will move towards carbon. For SO2, it will move towards oxygen. Okay, this one, when you draw the dipole moment, okay, what this is downwards. This three, if we total up, so move ke atas. So what happens is that it will be cancelled out lah. Okay, uh, if we have put value, if we put this value is to be positive 10, this one negative 10 kan, so sama je lah. So, mu is equal to 0, so it is non-polar molecule. For sul SO2, sulfur SO2, uh, this is band. So, the shape here, dipole moment towards oxygen, so the dipole moment does not cancel out, we move towards downwards kan, sebab bentuk dia band. For example, if we have atom yang bentuk linear, uh, yang ni yes, cancel out. But then this one, there, there, there's the shape to it. So, there are downwards. So, this is not equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, it's a non-polar molecule. If it's not equal to zero, it's a polar molecule. So, what does it mean there is that uh, for non-polar molecules, CH4 only has London force. But for the SO2, uh, SO2 has dipole, dipole force and London force. So, as we can see here, these two have different... Uh, IMF lah. CH4 the London force. This one pun London force. We CH4 only has London force. SO2 uh, usually the dominant one is the dipole dipole lah. Sebab that's the strong one. Okay. So kiranya behave less ideally. Uh, less ideally means that we have attraction. So which one yang attract high? Attraction tinggi. So that will be the less ideal. So this case our SO2 is the less ideal gas. So, if you want to write down CH4 
is more ideal point is fine. Dua-dua means that it has the same. It means it answer the question lah. So, mana satu yang less ideal. So, less ideal is SO2. So, the reason ah we have to mention lah. Sebab, actually, I guess we're talking about no attraction. So, when we're talking about no attraction, baru ideal. So, kiranya SO2 ni, depo-depo force, it's a strong one. So, that, tak boleh lah kita assume no attraction. Okay, so how do we put in words? So, we've mentioned that the intermolecular force of SO2 is stronger than CH4. Okay, so this question marks dia tak banyak, tapi it's actually tested your um knowledge and your, under, your understanding lah. Ha, they will go back to your chapter 4. Question C, in an experiment, when gelatin was added to water, the water become viscous. Okay. Explain the relationship between viscosity and intermolecular force. So, first we have to define what is viscosity. Okay, viscosity is the resistance of a liquid to flow. So, uh, for example, in our day-to-day -day life, uh, kalau water. Uh, water is it high viscosity? That's not lah. Sebab viscosity resistance of liquid to flow. Kalau H2O or your water, uh, senang je dia nak flow kan. Uh, contohnya kamu buka air pipe, uh, kan senang. Aku cari kau tak ada air. Memang tak ada air lah kan. Okay, so that is um for example lah. So, if you have, um, apa lagi ya? If you have, ha, madu. Your honey. Uh, honey, we, uh, we are refer it as viscous sebab dia susah lah. The resistance of liquid to flow. It does not flow easily. Okay, so that is viscosity. But then the question asks to state the relationship or explain the relationship between viscosity and intermolecular force. So here I found a picture on Google. Okay, so this is the example. So the viscosity type. Uh, so the easy one as sebenarnya yang every day, day to life kita jumpa yang ini lah. Okay, uh, so water low viscosity. If honey, uh, there's high viscosity. Okay. So, then we've mentioned about intermolecular force. Intermolecular force is about attraction between the molecule itself lah. Uh, attraction between molecule. Okay, for this case, kalau molecule tu, if the intermolecular force is strong, okay, so it means that the molecule is um getting nearer to each other or got getting stronger. So, what does it mean? It is harder to flow. Okay, uh, so kiranya, uh, water molecule it seems that we have weak intermolecular force. So, that's why it is easy to flow lah. If we compare it with honey. Uh, honey ni, uh, it, it has a strong uh, molecular, a strong intermolecular force ataupun bond. Uh, that's why, uh, bila dia strong attraction, uh, dia lagi dekat-dekat dengan each other, dia lagi tak nak pisah. So, sebab tu lah, dia susah nak flow. Okay. So, what's the relationship? The stronger the intermolecular force, the higher the viscosity. Okay. Uh, so, this pun sama juga based on macam question B. Uh, the, the question is quite simple, quite straightforward. But then, it goes back to your understanding of the uh, chapter 5 itself lah. Uh, your understanding, not only about chapter 5 itself, uh, a bit related to your chapter 4.4 .4 intermolecular force. Okay. So, that is all. Uh, the solution for PSPM 2018-19.